Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to be starting a new series and this is a series of uh, 12 books. It's the Spongebob Squarepants Bikini Bottom Bounty Book 1 titled Ice Cream Dreams. Let's check it out. Adapted by Nancy Krulik, illustrated by Heather Martinez. Today was the day Spongebob had been waiting for all his life. It was a finally... It was finally opening day at the Krusty at the Krusty Krab too. SpongeBob had a good reason to be excited. He was sure Mr. Krabs was going to make him manager of the new restaurant. There was no one better for the job. After all, SpongeBob had been employee of the month at Krusty Krab 374 times in a row. I'm ready, he said proudly. Promotion. SpongeBob, went ex SpongeBob spent extra time dressing for work that morning. Cleanliness is, ne is next to managerless, he declared as he straightened his square pants and went to work. Opening of the Krusty Krab 2 was big news in Bikini Bottom. Before we begin with the ribbon cutting, I'd like to introduce our new manager. Mr. Krabs told the TV reporters, Spongebob got ready to smile for the cameras. Spongebob bound up to the stage to accept the honor. People of Bikini Bottom, as the manager of, he started to say. Then Mr. Krabs whispered something in his ear. Mr. Krabs hadn't said Spongebob's name. Instead, he announced, please welcome our new manager, Squidward Tentacles. Spongebob was shocked. How could Mr. Crab do this to him? Mr. Crab explained that he didn't think SpongeBob was ready for the job. You're just a kid, he said. To be manager, you have to be a man. Otherwise, they call it a kidager. You under you understandager? SpongeBob did not understand. He didn't like being called a kid. There was no celebrating tonight. SpongeBob just wanted to go home and be alone in his pineapple. On the way home, SpongeBob stopped at Goofy Goober's party boat to drown his sorrows. Patrick was there. Patrick loved hearing the Goofy Goober song. Oh, I'm a Goofy Goober, yeah. You're a Goofy Goober, yeah. We're all Goofy Goobers, yeah. The dancing peanut chanted. Even the Goofy Goober song wasn't enough to cheer Spongebob. Nothing can make him happy until Patrick ordered some ice cream. A triple Gooberberry sunrise, huh? Spongebob thought. I guess I could use one of those, he said aloud. Slurp, slurp, splatter, yum. Spongebob gulped down the whole Sunday. That hit the spot. I'm feeling better already. Once SpongeBob got started eating triple blueberry sunrises, he couldn't stop. Neither could Patrick. Chomp, chomp, slurp, slurp. In a matter of seconds, they'd eaten two more, and they weren't finished yet. Woohoo! SpongeBob called out. Waiter, he held up two fingers. Why do I always get the goofy ones? The waiter wondered aloud as he made two more triple gooseberry sundaes. All that ice cream was making Spongebob really silly. This one goes out to my two best friends in the whole world, Spongebob announced. Patrick and this peanut guy. It's a little song called Waiter. Spongebob and Patrick sang together. The waiter kept the triple gooseberry sundaes coming all night long until Spongebob and Patrick fell asleep. The first thing Spongebob wanted when he woke up in the morning was a double fudge spinny. A triple gooseberry sunrise didn't seem like a breakfast food. After eating a sundae, Spongebob headed off for another day of work at the Krusty Krab. The whole way there, he thought about how angry he was 
at Mr. Krabs for giving the manager a job to Squidward. But Mr. Krabs had bigger troubles on his mind. King Neptune had paid him a visit. He believed Mr. Krabs had stolen his crown and sold it to Shell City. It wasn't true, of course, but King Neptune didn't care. He was ready to cook Mr. Krabs unless someone was man enough to go to the dreaded Shell City, rescue the crown, and find out who the real thief was. SpongeBob was the first to volunteer. He would save Mr. Krabs' life. The road to Shell City is the most dangerous journey of all, the king warned. What chance do you have? You're just a kid. I know I can do it, SpongeBob vowed. Let's go get that crown, Pat. SpongeBob knew in his spongy heart that he could be a brave man as in manager. Thank you for spending some time with us reading this Ice Cream Dreams book, um, SpongeBob SquarePants Bikini Bottom Bounty 1. Stay tuned for number two. Bye. Bye. Bye.